Pete the Cat's train trip. Pete loves trains. He loves the way they look. He loves the way they sound. He even loves the way they smell. Now Pete is going to visit his grandma. And he gets to ride on the train. Pete's mom buys three tickets. She gives one to Pete, one to Bob, and keeps one for herself. Keep these tickets safe, mom says. You won't be able to ride the train without them. Pete holds his ticket tight. He can't believe it. His very first train ticket. He hopes he gets to keep it. Inside, Pete waits impatiently for the train. Is it time yet? He asks. Mom shakes her head. Mm, not yet, she says. How about now? Pete asks. Pete's mom brings him to the train board. It shows where all the trains are going and what time they arrive at. Our train comes at 10 o'clock, she says. Just then, a train pulls into the station. Is that it? Pete asks. Bob shakes his head. Sorry, Pete. That one's going in the other direction. Another train speeds through the station without stopping. <gasps> what happened? Pete asks. Why didn't it stop? It's a cargo train, Bob explains. It carries things from place to place, not passengers. Finally, Pete's train arrives. The doors slide open and the conductor steps out. All aboard, he shouts. Pete follows his mom onto the train. As they walk, he looks around. The train is full of passengers. It's so exciting. Pete's mom finds three seats. Here we are, boys, she says. I can't wait to see Grandma, Bob says. I can't wait to explore the train, says Pete. A fan of trains, are you? The conductor says, collecting Pete's ticket. I always liked them too. Ever since I was a boy, I've been a big fan. I love trains, Pete says. This is my first time on one. The conductor hands Pete's ticket back to him. Well, then you'll want to keep this so you'll always remember your first time on a train. The conductor moves on to collect the rest of the passengers' tickets. But he isn't gone long. A few minutes later, he comes back with a gift for Pete. It's an engineer's hat. The conductor places the hat on Pete's head. How about a tour of the train? He says. Pete grins. Far out. Pete follows the conductor from car to car, the ground rumbles under his feet. This, says the conductor, when they reach the last car, is the caboose. Pete looks out the window. They're going over a bridge. Groovy, he says. Next, the conductor leads Pete to the front of the train. Come in, says the engineer. Pete walks in and looks around. <gasps> wow, he says. The engineer shows Pete the engine. He shows Pete the train's brakes. Pete looks out the front of the train. Everything looks so different from up here. Look, he says, a tunnel. Pete watches through the window as they go through the tunnel. The train's lights shine on the track. Hey, kid, the engineer says. Want to give the horn a try? Pete can't believe it. You bet, he says. Toot, toot. That was awesome, says Pete. As Pete makes his way back to his seat, he meets other passengers on the train. 
They're all going different places for different reasons. Pete plays a game with one of the passengers. He sings a song with another. What a groovy ride! Finally, Pete gets back to his seat. There you are, Pete's mom says. Our stop is next. Pete climbs onto his seat and looks out the window. Slowly, the train station comes into sight. On the platform, Pete sees his grandma. As soon as the train comes to a stop, he races out to greet her. Grandma, grandma! Pete shouts, I got to see the caboose and the engine and honk the horn. Pete's grandma gives him a big hug. That sounds like quite the exciting trip, she says. Pete hugs his grandma back. It was, he says. But I'm glad we're here now. I love trains, but I love being with you even more.